The 2021 golf season is due to start imminently and there's a few decisions I need to make as to what goes and what stays. One of the biggest decisions I've got to make is do I stick with the trusty tailor-made P790 UDI or do I put in a hybrid for 2020-21? Let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all to the channel. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel if you're not new to the channel, but guys, if you are new to this channel and this is your first time watching, take two seconds to hit that subscribe button below and I promise you won't regret it because there's golf related videos in here every single day. If you like my videos and you also want to see some non-golf related content, go check out the Off Course channel because there's some really cool stuff kicking on there also. Right, driving iron or hybrid? This is always quite a big debate amongst any golfer, amongst a tall pro, high handicap, mid handicap, low handicap, beginner. Maybe not beginner, but driving iron or hybrid. Today I'm going to test a P790 UDI, which I've been using for a long time, against a new tailor-made Sim 2 V-Steel hybrid. And I'm yet to even review this. The review's coming next week, but I just couldn't wait to try it because it looks, it's one of those hybrids that looks good, which is odd. I mean, you just don't often see a hybrid that looks really, really good and versatile, do you? That's the main reason why I might stick with a two iron in the bag, just the versatility, the ability to be able to hit low shots, high shots, shape shots, ideally not left, but then the forgiveness element behind this is, I think minimal would be a bit of an understatement. There's not a lot of forgiveness there at all, or minimal. Now, I'd obviously love to be doing this out on the golf course, and I will definitely do tests like this on the golf course when we reopen, but as it stands, we're still closed, so we're in here. Right, let's go. A couple of shots with both, and then we'll have a discussion. You see, shots like that that made me think, why am I even having this discussion? Because that was fantastic. Three and a half thousand spin, 225 yards, and that ball fly hasn't really left much to be desired, has it? Definitely fair to say the Sim 2 hybrid has its work cut out for it, but then we haven't hit a bad one yet, have we? There's Plenty of time for that. Ah, that's the bad one. That was helium, not good. Love that. Big high buttery fade, anyone, with a two iron. So guys, please make sure you do get in the comments as well for this video, because it's really important to me that you guys are a part of these videos. Would you go with the two iron? Would you go with the hybrid? Would you go with a five wood, a seven wood? Something different than the conventional hybrid versus long iron discussion. Or would you just stick a three iron in? The specs that these clubs are in, this is a two iron UDI. I'm not entirely sure on the loft. I'll put it somewhere on the screen now. And the Sim 2, and the Sim 2, and the Sim 2, and the Sim 2 hybrid is a three, and the, and the tailor-made Sim 2, try saying Sim 2 three hybrid. Very, very difficult. Right, let's go with that again. And the Sim 2 V-Steel hybrid three iron replacement is set onto a lower loft, and it's got exactly the same shaft length as the P790. So it should be very, very similar, I would think. Maybe a little bit more forgiving hopefully. Done it, got it. Oh, that's got a bit, that's not great, is it? At least it's not gone left yet. Right, one more with the two iron, then we're gonna go into the hybrid. Look how there's nothing on the left side of that hole. That's wonderful, isn't it? I'm gonna try and keep that going a little bit. Nice. Right, hybrid time. And I've been really, really, really looking forward to hitting this since we got it. Like I said, I've not reviewed it yet, so I'm not going to ruin that. I'll do a proper review on this and bring you guys all the tech and the specs and things like that. But it looks wonderful. It almost has that Adams look to it. You know, the kind of iron looking hybrid anyway. Right, what's the first shot like with this? Yeah, okay, that's going in the bag, the video's over, that's ridiculous. That is unreal. Wow. Like, really, do we have to hit any more? At all? Or, I mean, I will, if you want me to. Wow. Wow. The scary thing about that as well is it felt buttery soft as well. I didn't expect it to feel that good. Is it too far, though? because my four iron is gonna go nowhere near 237 yards carry, and the three woods is around 255. Maybe if I strong lofted the four iron a bit, that, anyway, that's a discussion for another day, but go again. 
Yeah, it wasn't a fluke either. That's exactly, that's so good. <laughs> oh, James. That's not one ball flight, that's two, just on the same line. How on earth have I not tested this yet? And you see, the really interesting thing for me there is even when I don't hit this right and miss strike it, it's still 230 yards and it's like kind of better, which is what I sort of expected because for me with the driving iron, I do sometimes think, are you good enough to warrant hitting it all the time? There's definitely a time and a place for it, maybe a Lynx course, a windy day, you're trying to really hit a knuckleball down there. But that's... It's ridiculous. And I think this almost has to be a two-part video as well. We really should be doing this out on the golf course as well as in here, because there's a time when the hybrid just won't cut it. And when you do want a two iron and the versatility behind that is quite a big bonus. So definitely that needs to be done on the golf course. But I just don't seem to be missing a beat with this. This is incredible. And you know what? The Sim 2 fairway, the titanium was incredible as well. So. I can sort of see where that's coming from. I can't wait to review this for you now, actually. I, I should have probably reviewed this before I did this video, but anyway. Right, one more, and then we're gonna go back into the iron and so on and so forth. Can we just, can we just have a moment? Maybe even a moment's applause for these. You know what, I'm doing it. This is, we're moving the camera and we're gonna talk dispersion just for a few moments, because those five shots at around about 230 yards a piece, I mean, this just doesn't happen. Like it just doesn't, now I feel like the weatherman and I haven't felt like the weatherman for a long time. And that joke didn't make sense, but I don't even care. Because even the peak height here on the Western Front looks incredible. Terrible jokes, James. You know what, sometimes you've just got to back yourself with a bad joke, haven't you? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna leave it in. Why not? Why not? Right, this guy's got, uh, he's got five shots to save his, save his place in the bag, I think, realistically. Yeah, that'll go a long way to doing it. That. <laughs> That was good. Definitely lower, definitely lower, which I would, I would expect. I can't believe the hybrid goes that far, that much further than it, but come on. I don't feel as confident over this. I know I have to put a better swing on it. I know I do. Because like that, I've, I've tried to hit that hard and it just healy, almost a shank. It's still 211, but it's nowhere near. I'm almost disheartened because the hybrid was that good, I think. Right. Couple of shots left, let's just try and hit some nice, that's coming up a bit. Couple of shots left, let's just try and hit some nice shots into maybe a long par three at about 235. <laughs> 237, you know, 242, that was good. When I hit this good, it's almost like, it's like Jekyll and Hyde because I really want to have this beautiful looking thing in the bag but then like, I really want the forgiveness element of the hybrid as well. So very much a little bit two-faced actually, in my opinion there. Nobody likes a two-faced person, nobody. And you know what, looking at those dispersions, they're not even that bad. There's like probably one bad one in there. It's the, it'll be the lateral, lateral? It'll be the front to back dispersion that's the issue. And that, like I just, I've come across that ever so slightly. At least it's not left. I have been working on that. Right, that's 10 shots hit. Is it staying in there? It's definitely in there for now. What about the hybrid? <laughs> it does look amazing. Oh, those dispersions. Stop it, James. Stop it. Looking down at it, it almost looks like Darth Vader a little bit. Right, come on, just five good ones. Let's, let's try, because the pressure's really on now for me. Let's try to really not ruin this dispersion pattern on the Western, no, the joke's done, the joke's done. It's another one. Isn't that just incredible? If I do say so myself, that's good. Really good. Is it versatile enough? Is it versatile enough for someone who has to play those low ones out of the trees and sling it round stuff because you've hit a bad drive? You know what? This was so good 
It's like an American style golf course where you know you're going to have long shots in where they have to land soft. Yeah. Worst one of the bunch and it's like two yards offline. That's wonderful. Oh. Oh, that was a tired one. You ruined it. You ruined it. Oh. Funny how you can actually get yourself under pressure in situations like this when you are testing golf clubs, when you are getting fitted for golf clubs or even having golf lessons. Put yourself in on course situations. I said there, Make sure you don't ruin this dispersion. This will be the best. I had it all on. I was going to go back on the weather channel and show you a really tight dispersion and have a bit of a laugh about it. <sighs> now I can't. But it shows you how I react under pressure. Badly. Right, come on. We've got two left. Let's just, let's really set a standard here. Nice, another good one. I've got to say, the feel and the sound of this hybrid could be the best I've ever tried. So I'm going to really test this against some of the hybrids on the market. Let me know what you want me to test it against. Last shot. Oh, you've done it again. That's two out of 10 bad shots. Ain't that bad, is it? That's definitely not a meatloaf song. But anyway, that's 10 shots hit with both the TaylorMade P790 UDI 2 iron and the TaylorMade Sim 2 Titanium 3 Hybrid lofted down. What's the big differences? Let's take a look. So we're going to start with the hybrid. And I mean, as you can see, apart from those two, there's eight shots there, which are really, I think really, really good over that distance. The P790 UDI, I mean, it varies so much on the strike. That's the big thing. You've got to strike it really, really consistently to get that consistent height, to get that consistent ball flight. What about the numbers? So numbers on average for the 20 shots, quite a big difference really, as you can see there. 230 carry for the Sim 2 Hybrid, 222 for the P790 UDI. And the UDI had six yards of run out on here and the Hybrid only had four, which you would expect. Club head speed exactly the same, but a lot more ball speed from the Sim 2, which is, has obviously got a bit more technology in there to help. And spin rates there, as you can see, a lot higher, 500 higher with the Sim 2 Hybrid. So as you can see there, quite interesting numbers, very, very similar club head speed numbers, different ball speed numbers and different distance numbers, as well as big spin rate differences. And that's the thing for me when you are decided between a hybrid and a two iron, a utility iron, a driving iron, what course do you play? What shots do you want to play? Do you want that low spinning shot? Do you want to be able to work it a little bit more? Do you want to be able to hit different shots on demand? Because that's what the two iron gives you if you've got the skill level to do so. The differences in dispersion for me were astronomical and that shows that even if I do want those differences in ball flight, if I do want the ability to be versatile, I need to up the game. I need to be able to swing it better and more consistent. The hybrid felt really, really, really good as well. So I'm definitely going to do a test like this out on the golf course. We're going to test it to see how versatile the hybrid can be. Can I hit a stinger with the hybrid? It's got a lovely black face on it. So if I do start to kind of get them a bit high in the face, that won't look really nice at all. But for me, definitely a work in progress. The hybrids almost jumped ahead of the two iron now, but we're going to do some on-course testing. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, leave us a like if you did enjoy that video. Comment below what would you use. And guys, I'm going to really look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye.